Hello everybody, good morning. My name is Tiago Rajan and I'm a network engineer with uh, Rewire Networks. Today we will discuss uh, about adding licenses on ClearPass. So once you finish deploying your uh, ClearPass server, be it hardware or virtual, once you finish the uh, initial configuration wizard and access ClearPass on the web interface, the first page you would see is an add license page. So unless you add a platform activation key, you will not be able to log into the ClearPass server. So that platform activation key will be given to you with the purchase of ClearPass and is used for mere activation of the appliance itself. And when I say mere activation of the appliance, I'm about to say that it wouldn't help you start authenticating users or start using ClearPass for the actual purpose of why you bought it. So you need a platform activation key just to start using ClearPass. That's it, just to log in and just activate the server itself. And uh, after you've installed a platform activation key and once you're logged in, you'll want to install other application licenses to perform .1x, MacAuth, and so on. So to install an application license, example, access license or on guard or on board navigate to administration under server manager you have licensing now if you don't have any application licenses installed yet this total count will be zero for the entire list of application licenses and if you move to the servers tab you will see the platform activation key that you just installed here you see two licenses because the previous platform key that i had expired so i've installed a new one and if you move to applications, you'll see that I have an evaluation copy of an access license installed for 100 endpoints. If you want to add an on-guard license or an onboard license, just hit the add license link on the top right corner, choose a respective license type from the dropdown, paste the license key, agree to the terms, and hit the add license button. One thing you should remember is before you can install any type of a permanent license, be it an access permanent license or on guard permanent or on board, you will have to get rid of the existing evaluation license for that type first. So if you have an evaluation copy of an access license, you need to update that eval license with the permanent license first. So if I have three access licenses, which are permanent, and I already have an evaluation copy of an access license here, like you see in my screen, on my screen. So uh you, you may want to you, you may think that okay let me just hit the add license link paste my permanent license key and then add the license that won't work because you've got to get rid of this evaluation copy first now you don't have a bin icon here to delete it so you've got to replace this license with the permanent key first so just click on this bar it'll open up a pop-up to uh, paste a new license key paste your permanent access license key here agree to the terms and update the existing eval license first. Then you can add the other two permanent license keys. If you've got just one access permanent license key, simple, just update this license and then you can go on and add your other licenses on guard and on board. Now, once you've added your license, you've got to activate it. And there are two ways to activate a license, online and offline. So to begin the activation process, click on this click to activate text here. It'll open a small window, and here you can see the online activation. So if your ClayPass server has access to the internet, hit the Activate Now button for online activation, and it'll activate the license instantly. Otherwise, you'll have to download an offline token, forward it to Aruba support, and they'll activate the license for you offline. So to do so, hit the Download button, which will download an activation token. Open a support ticket with TAC, provide them with this activation token. And after a couple of hours, they would get back to you with the activated token. So once you get the activated token, come back to the same window, upload that activated token here, and hit the upload button to activate the license. So you must remember that there are times when your server might have internet access and online activation may still fail. That may be due to, you know, uh, the license, something wrong with the license in the backend server that only Aruba support can fix. So even 